Hello, guys. Good morning. Do you hear me? Good morning, teacher. Yes, yes teacher. Good morning. Hi, how are you? I'm fine, and you? Hi. I'm very good. Very good. Thank you for asking. Uh, let me start sharing the screen. And let's see, where's the presentation? Hold on, guys. Basic two and here. Okay. Can you confirm if you see my presentation? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay. Okay, give me one moment, guys. Okay. Okay, very good. So, uh, thank you so much, guys, for joining. And thank you for being here, for being on time. And welcome once again to your class. Let me start with a quick question so we can have a little warm up activity. Um, I have this little question for you guys. It's actually a very simple question. And I will let you know, guys, what is your favorite sport? Um, Emma, tell me, what's your favorite sport? Um, my favorite sport is volleyball. Volleyball. Okay, very good. What about you, Roxana? What's your favorite sport? Um, my favorite sport is baseball. Baseball. Or okay. softball. Baseball. Softball. softball. All right. What about you, Oscar? What's your favorite sport? My favorite sport is football. Football. Okay, very good. Angel, what about you? What's your favorite sport? My fav my favorite spot is soccer. Okay, okay, very good. Dina, what's your favorite sport? My favorite sport is, 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 is softball. Softball, okay, it's very softball. good. Yes. Uh, what about you, Jose Juan? Uh, good morning, my favorite, my favorite sport is football. Okay. Very good. What about you, Ali? Ali Abigail? My favorite sport is basketball. Basketball, okay. Gabby? My favorite sport is basketball. Basketball, very good. What about you, Karen? My favorite sport is tennis. Tennis, okay. Lillian, Roxana? Hello, Lillian. Well, I think she's not here. Uh, what about Maria de los Angeles? What's your favorite sport? My favorite sport is football. Football. Okay, very good. Nicole, what is your favorite sport? My favorite sport is basketball. Basketball, okay, interesting. What about you? Uh, let's see, Jenny, Carolina, what's your favorite sport? Yeah, my favorite, my favorite sport is soccer. Soccer, okay. Esther Beatriz, what's your favorite sport? Good morning, my favorite sport is football. Okay, very good. And I think I'm not missing anybody. Oh, Carlos, tell me, what's your favorite sport? Uh, my favorite uh, sport is soccer, teacher. Soccer, okay. Lily, Liliana Beatriz, what's your favorite sport? Uh, my favorite sport is soccer. Soccer, okay. What about you, Roxana Saray? What's your favorite sport? Um, good morning, teacher. My favorite sport is swimming. Okay, swimming, very good. All right, guys, so um, 
when we go to the speaking part, we will be checking like sports vocabulary, okay? That's why I asked, I started today with this warm up question. And thank you so much for participating. Now, guys, I would like to have a little review about simple present with you because I believe that it is a topic that is giving you a little bit of problems, okay? So we will start with the review for positive sentences. Remember guys, that when we talk about simple present, we basically divide the simple present in two sections. We divide the first sections with the singular subjects and the plural subjects, which are I, you, we, and they. That's section one. And section two are the third person subjects, he, she, it. Recuerden chicos que cuando hablamos con el simple present, Tenemos aquí los sujetos I, you, we, they. Con estos sujetos, tanto en positivo como en negativo, como en pregunta, pues los verbos siempre se van a usar de la forma base. No le vamos a hacer ningún tipo de cambio al verbo. Ejemplo, I eat, I play, you eat, you study, we enjoy, we swim, they cook, they play. Esos verbos no van a sufrir ningún cambio cuando estemos usando estos sujetos, all right? Ahora, por el otro lado, on the other hand, we have the subjects he, she, it. Bien importante que recordemos, cuando usamos los sujetos he, she, and it, ahí se le va a hacer una modificación al verbo, ¿ok? El verbo va a sufrir la modificación de agregarle s, e, s, o, i, e, s, ¿ok? Siempre, siempre, cuando sea positivo, solo con oraciones positivas, y cuando usamos los sujetos he, she, it, all right? Examples, he plays, she studies, um, it rains, it hits, he goes, he uh, cooks, dependiendo de las reglas de spelling, que esas ya las vimos y no las voy a profundizar ahora porque es bastante largo, pero dependiendo de qué regla de spelling eh, toque, entonces vamos a modificar el verbo. Una vez más, los verbos con el simple present in third person, acuérdense, tercera persona, son los sujetos he, she, it. Si yo hablo del señor de la tienda, eso es third person. Si yo hablo de la señora que vende verduras, eso es third person. Si yo hablo del perico, del perro, del gato, del teléfono, de la computadora, eso es third person. All right? Cualquier otro sujeto que no sea yo y que sea singular, que sea solo uno, that is third person. Okay? So when I speak in simple present, positive, only positive, I change the verb, el verbo cambio, okay? Do you have questions about these guys? No teacher. All clear, okay. No so teacher, this is for positives. Please remember this. Amor, memorizémonos y aprendamos esto porque this is going to be evaluated in the final evaluation, by the way, guys, esta básicamente es la última semana de clases y de contenidos, porque ya el próximo lunes empiezo las evaluaciones para pasar a Basic 3, eh, y las evaluaciones se van a hacer entre lunes y martes. Así que el Simple Present, bueno, los que ya venían conmigo, los venimos viendo desde el Basic 1. So you need to handle this. Hay que aplicar las reglas cuando les haga las preguntas y también le vamos a sumar el present progressive, que básicamente son las dos cosas que estamos viendo. Okay. So uh, this is simple present positive sentences. Now let's go with the negative ones. So for negative sentences, we use two auxiliaries. Tenemos dos ayudantes para la, las oraciones negativas for the negative sentence. Once again, we have to divide the subjects. Hay que hacer como la división de los sujetos. Para los sujetos, I, you, we, they, usamos el auxiliary don't, ¿ok? Y para los sujetos, he, she, it, usamos el auxiliary doesn't, ¿all right? Así se, se pronuncia, doesn't, doesn't. So, what's the difference with negative sentences and questions? En el simple present, 
la única modificación que le vamos a hacer al verbo va a ser para oraciones positivas y para los sujetos she, she, it. Cuando hablamos de negative sentences, los verbos siempre van a ir en forma base. Pónganme atención, yo no voy a decir he doesn't play porque el verbo en negative no tiene que cambiar aunque sea tercera persona. The only thing that changes with negative sentences is The auxiliary. Para los sujetos I, you, we, and they, yo uso el auxiliary don't. I don't play. You don't study. We don't cook. They don't um, drive. ¿Ok? Eso va a ser para los auxiliares I, you, we, they. ¿Qué pasa con he, she, it? Yo para negatives no voy a cambiar el verbo. The verb doesn't change. The verb stays in the base form. Always, always for negative, the verb stays in the base form. ¿Qué es lo que cambia en third person for negative? The auxiliary. Yo no voy a decir he don't play. Sería he doesn't play. No digo he don't cook. Yo diría he doesn't cook. That will be the correct form. That's for negative sentences, okay? Once again, the auxiliaries are don't and doesn't for third person. And um, do you have questions about this part, guys? No, teacher. No. Okay. No, teacher. Okay, okay, very good. So now uh, we will go with the interrogative sentences. Let me switch the. Okay. With interrogative sentences, we have two changes. Hay dos pequeños cambios con las oraciones interrogativas. Number one, eh, lo mismo que aplica con las negative sentences, es que el verbo no cambia. Okay. Aunque sea tercera persona, el verbo no cambia. Se queda siempre, siempre en base form. Second thing, the auxiliaries are different. The auxiliary for I, you, we, they va a ser do. Conste, en esta parte, do no juega, la, no juega el papel de un verbo, juega el papel de un auxiliar. Eh, hold on, guys. Um. All right, so in this part, nosotros sabemos que do significa hacer, ¿verdad? Eh, como verbo, pero como les digo, en este caso do o does no juega el papel de un verbo. Eso no es un verbo en las oraciones interrogativas, sino que eso juega el papel de un auxiliar. Imagínense que los auxiliares en inglés, the auxiliaries in English, basically are like assistants. Ok, se han fijado que los jefes siempre tienen sus asistentes, right? Que ellos siempre les ayudan a hacer cualquier cosa que necesitan. So basically that is an auxiliary in a sentence in English. El jefe va a ser el verbo, ok? So you always need a verb. But the auxiliaries are the ones that help the verb for the sentence to make sense, para que la oración tenga sentido. En interrogative sentences o en eh, negative sentences, si yo no ocupo mi auxiliar, entonces la oración no tiene sentido, ¿ok? Si yo no ocupo el don't en una oración negativa, entonces yo no estoy diciendo nada en negativo. Con los interrogatives en the eh, negative sentences, los auxiliares y el verbo siempre se necesitan el uno al otro, ¿alright? Necesitamos los dos para que la oración funcione. We always need both. Porque si yo no pongo uno o el otro, entonces mi oración no la estoy diciendo bien. I'm not saying the sentence correct. Okay? So, once again, do is an auxiliary. He, the auxiliary do helps the verb to work in order to make a question. And the third change in questions is that we always switch the auxiliary position with the subject. Con las oraciones normales, generalmente siempre ponemos el sujeto primero, right? I play, I don't play, that's for positive and negative. 
pero ¿qué pasa con preguntas? Hacemos un cambio. We always switch it, ¿ok? Entonces pongo primero mi auxiliar, do, then my subject, do I, y luego pues el resto de la oración como debería de ir, play soccer, ¿ok? Si yo digo, I do play soccer, that is not a question because the order of the words is not correct. So we always need to memorize these things, okay? If you feel that this is difficult for you guys, le voy a dar un consejo. There are things in English that are easier for us than others. Puede que en aprendiendo inglés a mí se me haga más fácil el listening, que yo entienda todo, pero quizás la gramática a mí no se me hace fácil. Entonces, si yo, mi talón de Aquiles, como decimos, o mi debilidad es la gramática, entonces yo a eso le tengo que dedicar el doble o el triple del tiempo, ¿ok? No le dedico como el tiempo por igual a todo lo de inglés, sino que lo que más me cueste es a lo que más le voy a dedicar tiempo, ya sea con ejercicios, con videos, con repetir, con contestar preguntas, con escucharme. You decide like what's the best way for you, all right? But if this is like kind of difficult, my advice is that you actually um, review it more and more and that you can dedicate a little bit more of time, okay? So, um, do is the auxiliary that we use with this. And for a third person, we use the auxiliary does, okay? And the same rule. The auxiliary goes first, then we have the subject, and then we have the verb. Si se fijan, the verb is in base form. Once again, it doesn't change, okay? Do you have questions about the positive, negative, or interrogative forms for the simple present? Yes? Yes? Who has a question? Nobody is it clear for everybody? Yes, it's clear. Thank okay. you, teacher. No, no question. Okay, very good. So now let's go with important facts about simple present. Hey, Oscar, let me uh, help me reading number one, please. Just number one. The simple present is used to talk about routine habits, facts, or general truth. Okay, very good, thank you. When I want to know your routine, si yo en la entrevista le pregunto, hey, what do you do on weekends? What do you do on vacations? What does your mother do for Christmas? Eso es simple present, okay? No quiere decir que yo le estoy preguntando algo que está haciendo ahorita. We need to learn how to identify the verbs. Okay, how to identify the grammar tenses, how to identify what somebody is asking you. So the simple present is used to talk about routines, to talk about habits, to talk about facts or general truths. We go for number two. A Emma, help me reading number two, please. We only change the verb in ab, s, e, s, or e. I E S in third person subject in positive sentence. Okay, very good. Thank you. So, this is very important, and I need you to understand this part. Solo vamos a modificar el verbo. We will only modify the verb with the third person subjects in positive sentences. Negative, el verbo no cambia ni para un sujeto ni para el otro. Questions, el verbo no cambia ni para un sujeto ni para el otro, all right? Y basically number three is the same. For third person subjects in negative and interrogative sentences, we don't add S, E, S, or I, E, S to the verb. It stays in the base form. So the modifications, we will only have them for positive sentences for the subjects he, she, it. Yo no puedo decir I eat pizza, I goes to a supermarket because that will be incorrect. Tampoco puedo decir she doesn't study. ¿Por qué? Porque ya estoy contradiciendo la regla que tenemos acá. All right. Uh, let me see. And the last part for this is time expressions. Uh, let me see. 
Gabby, help me reading the simple present time expressions, please. Time expression, simple present. Every day, twice a week, in the morning, at night, every month, sometimes, eventually. Okay, thank you, Roxana Noemi. Help me reading the, the time expressions for the present continuous. Time expressions, present continuous. Right now, as we speak, at this moment, at this time, and now. Okay, if I say the sentence, I am drinking coffee sometimes, eso tendría sentido. Does it make sense if I say I am drinking coffee sometimes? Yo estoy bebiendo café a veces. Is that good for you guys? Or that will be incorrect? Incorrect. incorrect. Okay, what would be like the correct form for that sentence? I drink coffee every I day. Drink right now. Coffee. It will be, I drink coffee every day. That's one option with simple present. Mm -hmm. Or I could say, I'm drinking coffee right now with the present progressive, all right? If I say, um, she studies um, as we speak, would that be correct? She studies as we speak. Would that be correct? She studies no. as no. we speak. Incorrect. Okay, she because what would be the correct? Okay, she studies twice a week porque estamos usando a simple present. If I want to use the present continuous, for example, I could say she is studying right now. She's studying at this moment. That will be the correct form, okay? So now, como todos me entendieron y nadie tiene preguntas, I will ask you a couple of questions. Uh, let's see, um, Carlos, tell me what, what is the difference between like the positive sentences in third person and the negative sentences in third person? What is the difference with, this, with the verb, con el verbo? Uh, um, the verb in positive is the, is, is the aplicarle las reglas. Okay, uh, what is the regla? En, uh, example, uh, si el verbo termina en, en X, 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 uh, C, H, or H, H, um, or, or X, uh, se le agrega es. Okay. And what happened uh, with the negative sentences? Uh, the verb is, uh, se queda en su forma base. Okay, it stays in the base form. Now, give me one sentence in third person for a positive sentence in third person. Give me one example. Uh, she drinks uh, water uh, every day. Okay, beautiful. Uh, now give me a negative example in third person. Um, he doesn't. Uh, he doesn't play. He doesn't play. Okay, he doesn't play soccer, for example. Okay. Good job, Carlos. Ya vi que puso atención. Excellent. Now, let me see. Um, Roxana, give me an example using a question in present continuous. That will be Roxana Saray. Do you like drink coffee? Okay, in third person. Uh, does she like drink coffee? Okay, does she like to drink coffee? Very good. Uh, let me see, Esther Beatriz. Give me an example of a positive sentence using the subject we. Yeah. Positive sentence. Yes, using the subject we. We. Uh, 
video. We we do no no perdón 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 perdón. We we play soccer. Okay, we play soccer. And how would it, how would you make that sentence in in negative? In negative, uh, in negative, we we don't we don't soccer. We don't soccer. Ahí le falta algo. What is it missing, guys? Negative sentence. Mm -hmm. There is something very important missing. Si usted dice we don't soccer, falta algo. The verb. Uh -huh. The verb. What is the verb? Play. 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 Exactly. Acuérdense, chicos, el auxiliar y el verbo son mandatory. O sea, no puede existir uno sin el otro. ¿Ok? Si no digo el don't en negative, no tiene sentido la oración. Si no pongo el verbo, tampoco tiene sentido. Entonces, they are like attached. They need to be together in order to work. ¿Ok? So, vea, in that case, will be the correct sentence will be we don't play uh, soccer, ¿ok? Y si quiero hacer la pregunta, la misma pregunta, eh, vea, how would it be? Si esa oración, we don't play soccer, la quiero hacer in questions, how would eh, it be? Do we play soccer? Ok, very good, excellent, excellent. Ok, very good. Uh, let me start sharing the screen once again. Um, okay. Now, this is what you will do. This is a translation activity, okay? It's a like a very small paragraph. This is a paragraph that is in Spanish and what you have to do is translate it to English, okay? Um, hold on. Can somebody take a screenshot of this and send it to the WhatsApp group, please? Somebody, can me ayuda? Hello, hello. Yeah, teacher. Okay, thank you. Uh, let's see. Thank you, Roxy. Okay, so this is the translation uh, Roxy already sent the paragraph to the WhatsApp group. So what do you have to do? Abran un notepad y lo van traduciendo a English. You will have seven minutes to complete the activity. Lo voy a poner en grupo so you can do it faster, okay? Uh, three to four people in each group, okay? So please accept the invite so we can go and translate the paragraph. Hi. Hello. Mm -hmm. 
podemos comenzar. Bien, bien, bien. Carlos, empecemos. Hola. Empecemos. Ok. Hi, my name is Karen Curio. Curiosa apellido. <laughs> bueno, eh, hoy I live on top of an apartment, apartment building uh -huh. in a small town. I live. I live. I am a very curious woman and always want to know what others are doing. In fact, coma, I know. Fit, a ver. The edifice, the apartment, in. Lo vas a ir anotando. Hi, guys. Mm -hmm. Lo siento, me, me sacó de la llamada. No sé si te estaban <coughs> compartiendo. No, empezar a escribir, vos. Ah, bye, bye. Bueno, hello. My name is Karen Curioso. Así. My name is Curios Karen, no sería. Al revés. Curios Karen. No sé. Ay. Bueno, póngamele como usted dice, Karen Curios. Karen. Sería mi capita, vea. Así, curious. I, I live. I live. En lo alto sería. Um, so all edifices apartment. Uno por uno que no escucho bien. Ella, Hola. usted, usted hable. I live. Hola, no sé cómo está bien. I live on top of the building. I live. I live on top. I live building. Of the building. Building. Now. <laughs> Hola. 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 Neighbors, neighbors, neighbors. ¿Cómo sería de apartamento? 
edificio de apartamentos. De apartamentos. Sería apartment building, no sé. With my... ¿Cómo se dice mi ocular? Mi ocular. Un apartamento se va a hacer una comida. Es más. So. Es una pequeña ciudad. Es más. No sé si sería en un small city o en el little city. No estoy seguro. The West Street is very concurrida, dice que se dice Crowded, dice, o concurred. 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 Pero en West Street very concurred today sería, vea. Sí. Today. Concurred. It is very concurred. Today. Concurred. Today. De ahí... China, China and Victoria. And Victoria. Are. China and Victoria. Are. 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 Incoming. Are. No. Are. Entrando. Incoming. No. Go. Entrando. Vamos a ver. Pero. Are. Entrando. Are. Coming. No. Uh -huh, sí. Vale, pues, pero, pero veamos. Dice entering. Are entering. Mm -hmm. Entering. Um, at the store. A, 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 a closed store. A la tienda de entering. Uh -huh. Entering. Entering. Closed store. Jefferson. Store. Closed. Closed store. Store. The, the, the Mr. Tronson. The Mr. A clothing. Entering a clothing, a clothing store. store. Uh, the señor, the Mr. Tom, Thompson are buying cook. I see. The Mr. Thompson. Uh, and the Mr. Tom is buying uh, cooking, cook, cook, yet, buying cook, and, and he está comprando. Oh, está comprando, eh, pero yes, uh -huh. Entonces, is buying, porque lo está haciendo en el momento, is buying, eh, Cookies. Galletas es cookie, ¿va? ¿A cookies? Uh -huh. eh, cookies. En a newspaper. En a newspaper. Paper. A de kiosco. Esquina. Next to. Next to. A newspaper and uh, at the city neighborhood. Binoculars, uh, no sale en binoculars. Okay. My name is Bill. 
much honor. Pero, pero, ahí le falta, ajá, cabal. Yo creo que así va la siguiente oración. Ya lo mandé. No, okay, que ver. Infactor, ¿no? Solo no, no, no. ¿Hola? Solo sería el punto para que pueda continuar escribiendo. Ah, yo. Tú irás por la otra que sería la calle, West. Está... Uh -huh. Pero se me perdió la imagen. Pero es que me cuesta estarme pasando de uno a otro. Sí, sí, ya, ya voy, ya voy. Aquí está. ¿Te vas a quedar eh... hasta hoy o vas a seguir a, a la siguiente? A la, la siguiente voy a seguir, ajá. La calle West está muy concurrida hoy. Tina y Victoria están entrando a una tienda de ropa. Uh -huh. Hasta hasta eh, ya no hay clientes. Vamos a ver cómo se puede. Hidacen. 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 In his store, sería in his store or in his store, 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 Kind. Um, yes. Agradable. Que es. es agradable. It's kind to see the people. See the people. It's very, very porque es tan. Uh -huh. It's very kind to see sí. the people. The people here. Sí. Y el balcón, como se dice. And the. Sí. Balcony, se dice yeah. balcón. Balcony. In the park. Go. Okay. Go. So, back. Right. Let me start sharing. In, okay. So, first line. Well, this sentence, hola, me llamo Karen Curiosa. How would you translate this one or how do you translate it? Hi, my name is Karen Curiosa. Hi, my name is Karen Curiosa. All right. Vivo en lo alto de un edificio de apartamentos. I live on top of a apartment building in a small town. Of an apartment building in a small town. Very good. Soy una mejor muy curiosa y siempre quiero saber lo que otras personas están haciendo. How do we translate that? I am very, very curious. curious, 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 curious and and always, always, always want to know, know what others, others are, are doing. Okay. En esta parte soy una mujer bien curiosa. No sería I am curious woman, sino que I am a curious woman. Okay, I am a curious woman. Aquí tenemos el una mujer, a woman, a curious woman. And, okay, de hecho, ahora estoy observando a la gente en mi barrio con mis binoculares. How do we translate this? In fact, I know what you are all from. I know, with my binoculars. Binoculars. Okay. La calle West está muy concurrida hoy. How do we translate that? West Street West is very busy today. Okay, it's very busy, concurred. Okay. 
Tina y Victoria están entrando a una tienda de ropa. Tina y Victoria are going into a clothing store. Are going into a clothing store. El señor Thompson, Thompson está comprando galletas y un periódico en el kiosco de la esquina. Ok, very good. Eh, the pronunciation de comprando es buying. Ok, buying. Buying, no. Buying. Okay. El panadero está sentado fuera tomando té. The baker is Vaya, espérenme. Karen, ¿cómo traduce eso? Porque ya no hay clientes en su tienda. Because there are not more customers in the store. Okay, there are not. Eh, José, how do you translate this? Porque no hay clientes en su tienda. Because they, okay, because they, they are in a customer in his store. Okay, tengamos cuidado con esto, guys. They are not es una cosa, pero there are not es otra. Oigo que me están diciendo they are not. They is the subject, okay? Si yo quiero decir no hay, entonces tengo que decir esto y sería there are not, okay? There are not. So let's be careful with the pronunciation. There are not. So there are not customers in his store. Okay, how do, you, how do we translate the last part? It's so it nice to see people here on my balcony, on my balcony but now I must but go. I must do now. Okay, I must go, I have to go. Okay, very good. So this is literally like the translation paragraph. Uh, let's see, Jose Juan, help me reading the first paragraph, desde high hasta binoculars, please. Okay, uh, hi, my name is Karen Curious. I live on the top of an apartment building in a small town. I am very curious woman and always want to learn what other people are doing. In fact, Now I am watching people in my neighborhood through my binoculars. 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 Okay. Dina, help me with the second paragraph, please. There's the West Street until, um, hold on. Shop now. West Street is busy today. Dina and Vic busy today. Dina yes. and Victoria are going to into a closet shop. And Mr. Thompson is buying some biscuit and newspaper from the kiosk of the corner. The baker is sitting out and drinking tea because there are a lot of customers in his shop now. Okay. Um, let's see, Karen, help me with the last one, please. It's so nice to watch people here on my balcony, but I must go now. Okay, very good. Okay, thank you so very much, guys, for your participation. Let me now go to the next activity. And for this one, guys, let me just pull out the game. So this is simple present versus present continuous. You will see a sentence and you have to form like the sentence depending on what you see. I will give you an example. Vamos a girar, we will spin the wheel, and we have this. What do you at the moment? Entonces esto sería simple present or present continuous for you guys. Present continuous. Okay, present continuous. ¿Y cómo hago la pregunta? ¿Cómo tengo que formular la pregunta? What do you do? No, that's not present continuous. You? What are you doing at the moment? What are you doing at the moment? Exactly. What are you doing at the moment? Okay. Si usted me responde bien, pues lo dejo ir. I mean, del juego, ¿verdad? Si no, la voy a tener hasta que me responda bien uno. Okay. 
So I will start with Miss Emma. Let me see what's your sentence. We have, okay. That's your sentence. How would it be the correct form? Hello? In a positive sentence. Yeah, positive. Hello? Yes, positive. Me escucha. Yes. Do you hear yes. me, guys? Yes, teacher. Yes, yes teacher. I think yes. Emma is gone. Emma, are you still here? The rubbish. I put the rubbish out. Twice a week. Um, I think you're having problems with your internet, Emma. Si quiere apague la cámara y solo quédese con el audio porque se le está trabando. Yeah, I think she's frozen. Please, just turn off your camera and stay with the audio because your internet is like cutting off a little bit. Okay, but you, you answered good. I put the rubbish mm -hmm. out twice mm -hmm. a week. No. Um, no, siempre se le escucha como cortadito. Sorry. Okay, uh, we will go with the next one. Eh, Jose Juan, it's your turn. And let's see what is your sentence. Okay. So look at this one. This is my brother, not tidy. This is negative. His bedroom on Saturdays. Acuérdese, my brother, third person. What is the correct sentence, Jose Juan? Uh, my brother do not his bedroom on Saturday. No. Yes. Acuérdese, third person. ¿Cuál es el auxiliary in negative para third person? Okay. Uh, yes. okay. Uh, my brother doesn't. Mm -hmm. Doesn't, doesn't tidy, mm -hmm. tidies his bedroom on Saturday. Doesn't tidies? No. ¿Qué dijimos de la regla? The next. Eh, Cuando okay. es negative, My brother no doesn't tidy his bedroom, bedroom on Saturdays. Okay. My brother doesn't tidy his bedroom on Saturdays. Very good. Guys, what is the meaning of tidy? <laughs> I don't know. Tidy, ordenar. Ordenar. Exactly. Ordenar. ordenar, organizar. That is tidy. Okay. So my brother doesn't tidy his bedroom on Saturdays. Very good, Jose Juan. Thank you. The next one is Roxana Noemi. So let me see what's your sentence. Okay. So we have. Okay. This is a question. How often you tidy your bedroom? This is called subject you. So what would it be the question, Roxana Noemi? Um, how often do you tidy your bedroom? Very good, excellent. How often do you tidy your bedroom? Beautiful, thank you. Now we will go with Dina. Okay, let's spin it and see what's your sentence. Okay. My mom, y tenemos el verbo do, the irony once a week. Irony significa como planchar la ropa, all right? So Dina, my mom, do the irony once a week. Okay, mom, my mom does the iron once a week. Does the irony, irony, once a does week. Does the irony once a week. Okay, very good. Mi mamá plancha una vez a la semana. My mom does the irony once a week. Beautiful. Eh, Gaby, your turn. Let's see what's your sentence. Okay, so we have, I use my computer at the moment. What will be the correct sentence, Gaby? We am using my computer at the moment. Okay, I'm using my computer at the moment. Excellent. We will go with Liliana Beatriz. Let's see what your sentence. Uh, my parents, we have the verb cook, the dinner now. What is the correct sentence? My parents 
are cooking dinner now. Okay, are cooking the dinner now. Very good. Let's go with Alejandra Abigail. Let's see what is her sentence. Okay, so we have, okay, you, tenemos not wear your trainers today. Trainers son como sneakers or tennis, okay? So you not wear your trainers today. Alejandra, what would be the correct sentence? You, You don't wear your trainers today. Okay, si la quiero hacer en present progressive, ¿cómo la haría? You... Mm -hmm. you Guys, don't... who can help me? You in present progressive? Present continuous. You, you are waiting today. your day today. Okay. In you negative, you are not. You are not waiting your training today. Okay. You are not wearing your trainers today. Very good. And uh, let's go with, uh, let me see, with Angel. Let's see what's your sentence. Okay. And we have, okay, it says I, el verbo es do, the dusting once a week. Dust es como sacudir. Okay, do the dusting es como sacudir. Okay, so Angel, go. Uh, I, I, I do, I do in the dusting once a week. I doing or I do? I do, I do. Sorry. Okay, once again. I do the those thing once a week. Okay, okay, beautiful. Let's go with Carlos Roque. Let me see what's your sentence. Okay. My dog, the verb is sleep, and we have the time expression now. So what is the correct form for that sentence? Mm, my dog is sleeping now. Very good. My dog is sleeping now. Excellent. Let's go with Roxana Sarai. Uh, let me see what's your sentence. Okay, now we go. I have lunch now. What is the correct form for that sentence? Um, presente progressivo. Uh, what do you see? Tenemos I have lunch and the time expression now. I having lunch right now. Oh, now perdón. Okay, you're missing something. I having lunch now. Le falta algo. Mm. I am having lunch now. Okay, very good. I am having lunch now. Very good. Thank you, Roxy. Let's go now with Carla Jensenia. Let's see what's your sentence. Um, okay, my sister lay the table every day. What is the correct form for that sentence, Carla? Mm, my sister. Um, to be honest, I don't know what is the... Lay the uh, table, the, es como ordenar la mesa, poner la mesa. Uh, but interperson is the same. No, interperson, we add the S. Uh -huh. It will be uh -huh. my sister, lays. Lay my table every day. Lays the table. My sister lays the table every day. Okay. Um, let's see, we'll go now with Oscar. Oh. Let's see what's your sentence. Okay, all right. This is a WH. How often it tenemos el subject, your mom, and the verb is clean, the bathroom. So how would you ask that question, Oscar? Um, my mom. No, 
No. No. It's a WH. Primero preguntamos el WH. Uh, how often do, uh -huh. your mom, do your mom clean the bathroom? Okay. Uh, mom is third person or first person? ¿Cómo? Mom, el subject mom, is that third person or is plural or is uh, first person? Third person. Third person. Okay, and what is the auxiliary for questions in third person? That's. That's. All right, so how would you make the question? How often does mm -hmm. your mom mm -hmm. clean the bathroom? Okay, excellent. How often does your mom clean the bathroom? Very good, Oscar. All right, let's go with um, Josue Oseas. Very good. Let's see what is your sentence. We have, uh, okay, Tom and Max. We have two people, Tom and Max. We have the verb not study now. So, Josue, what is the sentence in this case? Hello, hello, Josue. Hello, teacher. Yes, Tom and Max not study now. What is the correct form for that um, sentence? Tom and Max not study. Okay, can you repeat it, please? Tom and Max not mm -hmm. studying. Okay, le falta algo. Una cosita le falta. Tom and Max. Starting now. No. What is missing, guys? What is it missing in that sentence? Are the verb to be okay? Okay, so Jose, what would be the correct sentence? Hello, Jose. Tom and uh, Max are not studying. Okay, no. Tom and Max are, are not starting. starting now. Okay, okay, are very good. Starting. Let's go with uh, Nicole. Let's see what's your sentence. Okay, my dad always says load the dishwasher after dinner. Load is como cargar o poner algo, okay? So, Nicole, what would be the correct sentence in this case? My dad uh, always long. Load? No, el verbo es load. Long que era, perdón, teacher. Como cargar algo o poner algo. The dishwasher es esta máquina que ocupan para lavar platos. No lava plato, creo que es en Spanish. And my, do, my dad always uh -huh. dishwashers um, once a day. No. Okay, my dad always says that he's bien. Then what do we need to make a sentence? Acuérdense que we always need a verb. We need the verb. So the verb in this sentence, Nicole, is load. And this is a positive sentence in simple present. So, ¿qué nos dice la regla cuando tenemos positive sentences in simple present? Negative. No, we have to add the Yes, yes. Okay, so my dad my always dad always is long. No, is low? No. No agregamos el verb to be for positive in simple present. My dad always loads. Loads. 
My dad load. always loads. Si el verbo es load, en este caso simplemente se le agrega la S. My dad always loads the dishwasher after dinner. Ok, le voy a dar otra oración, Nico. Let's try another okay. sentence, ok? Let's see. Ok, this one is easy. We have Jake and then we have not work this morning. How would it be this sentence, Nicole? Jack and Don do not work this morning. No. In present, it's, a, it's in present continuous. So how would it be in present continuous? And ENG. ING. Yes. Uh huh. Uh, Jack and and that. Done. And were not work this were morning. Were not work? No. Le tengo que pasar a positivo. Okay. Is in present continuous? Positive. All right, y Jack and then son dos personas, lo cual lo hace plural, okay? So how would it be the form of the sentence? Jack and, and dad mm -hmm. was working. No. <laughs> ¿Cuál es el present form de, de was? Was es verb to be, pero en pasado. ¿Cuál es el present form del verb to be, guys? R. Ok. J and Dan. Entonces en este caso sería R. R. Y luego que sigue, Nicole. Are they? No. Who can help me, guys? Jack, Jake and Dan are. Are not working this morning. Ja Jake, I'm sorry. Jake and then are not working. Are not working this morning. Okay. Eh, ¿Qué me falta? Is somebody missing? ¿Ya todos participaron? Me, teacher. Okay. Let's go with Bea. All right, your sentence is, okay, my friend. We have the verb love, music, and films. My friend is third person, okay? So how would it be the what? correct sentence, Esther? What? Uh, repeat, please. What will be the correct sentence? La oración correcta in this case? My, my friends. No, my uh, friend, just one. My, my friend. friend. My friend. Mm -hmm. Love the music and films. Okay. Love, como, yes. como iría love? Así, love, love or loves? I don't know. Si, no, no sé si es. Ah, ya, yeah, ya. Yeah. My friend loves the music and films. Okay. Yes. My friend, porque tenemos solo uno. Si dijera my friends, yes. ahí yes. sí tendría my que friend. love. Okay. Okay. Very good. Thank you, Bea. My friend loves music and films. All right. Thank you. Thank you guys for participating now. We will go to the next part of the uh, class, but hold on. Let me take the screenshot. So I'll be able to take the capture. Give me one moment. Um, Okay, let me start sharing the screen again. And now we have here some sports vocabulary. Um, I'm gonna say the pronunciation. You have the pictures here related to the sport so we understand what is the sport, okay? I will say the word and you will pronounce it after me, okay? The first one, repeat, soccer. Yeah. Soccer. 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 Yeah. Okay, the second one we have snowboarding. Snowboarding. Okay, the second one we have tennis. 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 
Okay. The next one, swimming. 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 Okay. The next one, athletics. 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 Este, some people say athletics and some people say athletics. Okay, so if you hear both, both are correct. The next one we have cycling. 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 This one we have scuba diving. Scuba diving. Uh, then we have billiard. 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 The next one we have skateboarding. Escape. The next one we have climbing. 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 Then we have water polo. Water, water, water polo. polo. Then we have volleyball. 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 Okay. Next one we have surfing. 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 Now we have American football. American, American football. football. All right, the next one we have canoeing. 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 Okay, and canoeing. here we have skating. 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 skating, all right. The next one we have running. 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 Okay, this one is badminton. 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 This one, guys, I'm going to zoom it up a little bit. Okay, um, this game, guys, it's similar to tennis. They have a racket and everything, pero en vez de lanzar una pelota, lanzan una, una cosita que, que como una flor o algo así. I don't really know what's the name in, in Spanish of that game, pero creo que ya lo han visto, right? They have a racket, they have like the, I don't know what's the name in Spanish, pero es como una cosita de ese tamaño, que es como una especie de flor que... Obviamente, vuela cuando uno las está golpeando. So that is the, this game, badminton. All right? Um, it's similar to tennis, but it's a different one. Okay. This one, repeat, cricket. 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 cricket is actually very common in United Kingdom. All right? It's very, very common in United Kingdom. And the next one, we have archery. 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 It's archery. Repeat archery. 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 Okay. Archery. Now this one we have hand gliding. Hand gliding. gliding. This one, guys, is like when you fly, but you have like a huge kite on you. All right. Huge. Yeah. Kite, como un cometa, una piscucha que uno la tiene encima. That is hand gliding all right this is not common here in our country but people in united states they like to practice this type of extreme sports a lot then the next one we have skin repeat skin mm -hmm. then we have fishing 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 and the last one we have horse riding horse riding okay so, do you have questions about writing. this, guys? No questions, teacher. No, no questions, teacher. No. All right. Very good. So, um, here we have a little bit more of activities, okay? Um, I'm going to send this information to the group, uh, this, the presentation and everything, but right now I need you to go and practice a little bit about simple present. So, if you want, can somebody take a screenshot of this? Pueden tomar un screenshot para enviarlo al grupo, please. No me please, somebody. Okay, thank you guys. All right, now we will go to the speaking activity, all right? It says, ask your classmates, this is seven, but because of the time, because it's late, you will only ask five, just five WH questions in simple present about sports. This is, include a routine question about a famous athlete. Let me give you an example. Le voy a dar unos ejemplos. Um, let's imagine that um, 
let's imagine that Dina is my couple. So I ask Dina, Dina, what is your favorite sport? Uh, Dina, please answer. Hello? Do you hear me, Sorry, guys? Teacher. Sorry, Hi. teacher. Uh, what is your favorite sport, Dina? Uh, my favorite sport is um, Messi. No, 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 sport. Messi is ah, not a sorry, sport. Oh, sorry, sorry. My favorite sport uh, is softball. Softball. Okay. Softball. Do you play uh, softball? Yes. I play softball once a month. Okay. Where do you play softball? Mm. With my friends? No, where? Place. Ah, ah oh. Uh, I play uh, at the park. Okay. And why do you like softball, Dina? Uh, because uh, I run in fast. Because I run. I run. I run. Mm -hmm. I run. So let's imagine that I finished. Ya terminé las cinco preguntas con Dina. Now, Dina, ask me a question. Ask me a WH question about sports. Hágame preguntas con WH acerca de deportes. Using simple present. Okay? What is your favorite sport? Uh, my favorite sport is basketball. Why do you... Do you like the basketball? Um, I like basketball because it's a very interesting game. Where, where do you play basketball? Where do you? Where, where do, you do you play? Where do you play basketball? Um, I normally play basketball in a basketball field in my uh, neighborhood. Mm. Th thank you, Dina. Thank you. It was okay. just a, a demonstration. So, guys... ¿Se entiende lo que quiero que hagan? ¿Es it clear for everybody? Yes. Questions. Yes. WH questions in simple present about sports. Y dice, include a routine question. O sea, pregunten la rutina de un famous athlete a, a quien, con quien está practicando. So, imagine that you're talking about soccer. So, uh, you can ask your, your classmate, oh, what is your favorite soccer player? A daily routine. Y ahí pues que la otra persona le conteste. So, let me send you to breakout rooms. I'm going to put you in trios. Oh, no, hold on. Other room, create. Yeah, I'm going to put you in trios because some people are just listening to the class. So, if one person is listening, you can practice with the other one. So, let's open. The breakout troops and let's practice the questions, please. Okay. Okay, but the the basic question I think was um what kind of sport do you like or what kind of sport do you practice? Oh, okay. 
Tell me. Mm -hmm. hmm? Repeat. What kind of sport do you practice? Hello guys, what happened? Hello teacher, este, María creo que está solo de oyente y Emma sí. tiene problemas con el audio. No le conecta Emma. Eh, can you speak Emma? Creo que no escucha, ¿verdad? Sí, puede como escuchar o algo, pero no puede hablar. Hold on. Tenía problemas con audio, sorry. Yeah, that happens with some, I don't know why. She will log out and then she will log in. In the meantime, you can write your questions, uh, Carlos. Okay. Hello, Emma. Do you hear us? Eh, no, todavía no se le escucha. But I can hear you. Oh, sí. Okay, sí, okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Eh, I don't know if eh, Maria de los Angeles is just listening. Yeah, she's just listening. Oh, okay. Okay, entonces with Carlos, what is your favorite? And my favorite ball uh, is softball. Softball. Okay, what do you play softball? Why do you play ah, softball? Okay, okay. Uh, because. Uh, I I do boom. I do. Okay. And I love it. Tell me about your fam your favorite. Tell me about your favorite famous athlete. My favorite famous athlete is Erling Haaland. What kind of sport does he practice? Um, I don't know. Okay, so we're back in now. Let me see. Okay, Liliana Beatriz. Uh, you will be asking the questions and Eduardo, you will answer Liliana's questions. Then we will switch. Lily, just three questions. Okay, three WH questions. 
Okay. What do you favorite sport? Mm, my favorite sport is soccer. Okay. <clears throat> Why do you play soccer? Uh, because for me it's very fun. Okay. And um, three. Where did you play soccer? Uh, I play soccer in, in the street with my friends. Okay. Okay, now Carlos asked the questions to Lily. Uh, why is... Um, what is your favorite uh, sport? My favorite sport is soccer. <laughs> what is your favorite is the play play soccer? Soccer player. Soccer player. Soccer my, player. My favorite soccer player is Messi. Messi. Why is your uh, Why is your favorite, favorite play soccer Messi? No, no, no. Why is Messi your favorite uh -huh. soccer player? Why um, is Messi your favorite play? Okay, because, play because he's an excellent player. Soccer player is okay. the best. <laughs> okay, thank you guys. Hey guys, just for you to know. Um, okay. When we want to know like about like the person who plays the, the sport, si digamos estamos hablando de un jugador de fútbol, eso se dice soccer player. Porque play soccer es literal el verbo, jugar fútbol, ¿ok? Si quiero decir un jugador okay, de basketball, teacher. sería basketball player. O sea, la palabra player es lo que, de que estamos hablando de la persona. Basketball player, eh, softball player, tennis player, soccer player, ¿ok? So, let's remember, soccer player, ese es el jugador de fútbol, ¿ok? And Carlos, ahí le puse la pregunta, la última que hizo. Why is Messi your favorite soccer player? Uh, why is uh, Cristiano your favorite soccer player? Why is, um, oh my God, why is uh, Shaquille O'Neal your favorite basketball player? Yes, así lo vamos cambiando. Okay, teacher, thank you. Okay. My pleasure, guys. And let me show you the homework, okay? because it's time to finish. All right, so this is the homework for this week. Uh, we have until Saturday, July 8th to complete it. That means that we have until this Saturday, okay? Um, we have to complete unit four. Ya vimos esto de los talents. Pueden completar hasta how often. Tomorrow, we will see these topics. This is the talents and abilities. Y el can, lo vamos a ver mañana. All right? So this is something that you can complete. Creo que para el miércoles ya lo pueden completar. And next week, we have unit five. Esto también lo vamos a ver esta semana. All right? Para la unidad cinco, le voy a dar hasta el martes. Martes a las 10.30. So... Next Tuesday, we have the last day of classes. La próxima semana, el martes, terminamos clases y básicamente terminamos las evaluations, all right? Las clases terminan a las 9.30 de la mañana. Yo les voy a dar una hora más después de, la, de que termine la clase por si se les ha quedado algún examen o alguna actividad que no han hecho. Eh, porque en el momento en el que termine la clase, pues yo me pongo a pasar las últimas notas de la unidad 1 a la 5, perdón, del examen. 
de la unidad 1 a la 5, porque ya las anteriores ya tienen que estar completadas. Si yo termino de pasar, como les digo, yo voy a empezar desde las nueve y media que terminamos la clase para empezar a pasar este último examen. Ya a las diez y media, pues yo ya he terminado y después de esa hora, sí, ya no doy prórrogas ni recibo más, más eh, tareas o exámenes. So, please do this with time, guys, porque ya para el martes que terminemos, este reporte tiene que quedar completed, all right? Do you have questions about the homeworks? No question. No question. Ok. Eh, como les digo, ya vimos esto. El can y las abilities, los talents, los vamos a ver mañana. Y lo que queda la semana vamos a ver esto. Básicamente, the conditionals, health problems, parts of the body, giving advice. Ok. This is something that we will study this week. Pero para la unidad 5, les he dado el deadline hasta el martes. Ok. If you can do it like before, that's better, all right? Eh, para que no se atrasen. 